Welcome back. Representation matters. It's a phrase we hear often. When it comes to science, technology, engineering, and math, black people are underrepresented in the field. To improve the disparity, STEM professionals are speaking out and encouraging students to shoot for the stars. Joining us now live, we have Jamarius Reed. He's a Harding High University graduate. He's studying to get his PhD in aviation from Embry-Riddle, and he works at NASA. Good morning, Jamarius. Hey, good morning, Casey. Just shout out to all my Rams out there from each uh, party. One of my favorite parts about your story, Jamarius, is how you got interested in the idea of becoming an astronaut. And it all happened right here in the Charlotte area at Harding High when you got a project about black astronaut Ronald McNair. Tell us about that. So yes, as while, during my time at Harding, I was in the magnet program, uh, in the IB program. And a part of that program, we were supposed to do our graduation projects uh, so, uh, as a um, requirement for graduation. In that project, I did research on um, studying other planets to harvest resources because we were gonna eventually deplete our resources here on Earth. And during that research, I found uh, out about the astronaut corps. And within that, I found, found out about Dr. Ronald E. McNair and um, his background, uh, he was an astronaut. Uh, he started out uh, as a kid from South Carolina. He ended up going to a and North Carolina a and and then going to MIT. And that's where uh, his educational path uh, began. And so just looking at his path, that's when the realization came to me that, oh, this is the blueprint, that this is possible. Because prior to that uh, research, you know, being an astronaut is something that I just thought about. It, it was, you know, cool. It was a cool idea, but I never thought it was tangible. So just understanding that background, seeing that blueprint, they gave me the, the notion, they gave me the belief that, hey, if I put my mind to this, then it's possible. That's awesome, Javarius. So now you are a PhD student at Embry-Riddle studying aviation, and you're also working at NASA as a flight controller slash extra vehicle, vehicular activity operations specialist. Can, what does that even mean? What do you do there? <laughs> All right, so uh, extra vehicular activities, which is EVAs, which is, it is a long term for basically spacewalks. So why is this important is, you know, when you're going out into space and you don't have all of the protection from a, a spacecraft, um, you're going out into harsh environments. And so this is where those spacesuits come into play. Um, why this is important is because those space those spacesuits limit your mobility because we have to have the same level of, of protection from, uh, you know, radiation and other factors in space. So we have to train for that. So the reason um, I'm so uh, grateful for this opportunity at NASA and be able to work in this environment is because NASA has a goal of the Artemis mission where we return to the moon and create a sustainable environment. And from that, we're gonna go on to Mars. So we have to learn how to, how to uh, be able to walk, be able to uh, navigate and have our mobility on the lunar surface. So I will, have, I will be a part of that group working to uh, make that a, a possibility for us. That is so awesome, Jamarius. So when in our discussion, you wanted to make sure that we could talk a little bit about your journey up to this point and just the importance of persevering through obstacles and failures. Why is that important for you to discuss? The reason I, I wanted to discuss that is, and, and I just wanted to go back to the Livingstone um, uh, article or the, uh, not the study, but the Livingstone feature that you had earlier that talks about the, our representation in STEM as a whole. Um, a lot of the young people have to understand that when we get into this corporate setting, when we get into these STEM settings, that we are going to be the representation for others that come behind us. Um, and so we have to understand that there's going to come with challenges. There's challenges associated with that. And so you have to per persevere. You have to remain resilient, understand that what you're doing is not only benefiting you and your family, but also benefiting others that are going to come behind you another generation as well. Um, one thing I want to touch on is, is, you know, if you have a dream, please follow your dream. Um, whatever your passions are, please follow your passions because you were given that gift for a reason. And we uh, and God has given you that gift to share with the world. Um, with that being said, just understand that the road travel is going to be hard and anything worth having um, never comes easy. So if there's something that you really want to do is your passion, please, please go forward and do it and do it with the best uh, best of your to the best of your ability and give it 120% effort. 